Women make up around 49.5% of the agricultural labor force in East and Southeast Asia. Female farmers can bring great benefits into smart agriculture, but several barriers hinder women's participation. In 2018, Chinese Taipei worked with PPWE, ATCWG, SMEWG, PPSTI, and PPFS to launch APAC Gifts A+, promoting gender inclusion in smart agriculture. This project promotes the use of gender analysis to encourage women in the APAC region to enter smart agriculture. Technology innovation, sustainable development, and gender inclusion. These are the three main solutions of APEC Gifts A+. With these solutions, Chinese Taipei has established training programs, STEM education, startup promotions, marketing platforms, and created a friendly environment to inspire women to sparkle in smart agriculture. Women sparkling in smart agriculture, gendered innovations, trigger ambition, The Amis people call themselves Bansha. Bansha is our name. If everyone was committed to organic farming, there'd be less pollution, and it would be better for our environment. When we first started this farm, there were three reasons why people thought we wouldn't succeed. First, they thought organic farming wasn't possible because pesticides can't be avoided. Second, it was because I'm an indigenous person. Third, I'm a woman. They didn't think it was possible for a woman to be a leader in agriculture. Women often need to consider their working hours. They worry about not being able to take care of their family and children at the same time. However, in agriculture, it's possible to decide when to work, so you have time to look after your kids and your home. Your gender and identity shouldn't restrict the kind of work you do. You should be able to just get on with your work and your life. Chinese Taipei will publish a new toolkit with strategies for promoting women's participation in smart agriculture. Together, let's integrate gender perspectives into smart agriculture for sustainable and inclusive growth in the APEC region.